join kids hat family good night tia good night tofu Once upon a time there lived a lonely couple who only wished to have a child. They lived in a little house all on their own. At the back of the house there was a small little window from which a splendid garden could be seen. This garden was full of very beautiful flowers and herbs. No one dared to enter the garden as it belonged to a witch. named Dame Gothel One day the woman saw a plant called rampion which is used to make salads Dear husband I have a strong desire to have a salad made out of that plant Oh but that belongs to the wicked witch Oh please do something I really want to eat those rampions Okay dear I will try to get it for you At midnight the husband climbed the wall into the garden of the witch and started taking some rampions The man took the rampion and his wife made a salad out of it and ate it But the very same night there was a knock on the door and the man knew something was wrong How dare you you men come into my garden and steal my rampions like a thief You will suffer for it Oh please forgive me my wife saw your rampions from the window and she wanted it so bad that I could not say no to her Oh If that's the truth then I will let you have as many rampions as your wife wants but only on one condition What is that condition You must give me the child which your wife will bring into this world The man in his terror consented to everything As time passed by the couple gave birth to a beautiful little baby girl But that very same night the witch came to their door and took away the baby girl leaving the poor parents in complete sorrow You are such a beautiful looking girl I will name you Rapunzel and take care of you Ha 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 The witch kept her locked in a tower with no doors and stairs but just a small little window as the time passed by rapunzel grew into a beautiful girl with very long golden locks but her beauty went in vain because the cruel witch never allowed her to go anywhere sad rapunzel just used to stand at the little window and sing sad songs When the witch had to visit Rapunzel, she used to ask Rapunzel to let down her hair. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair to me. One day when Rapunzel was standing at the window singing sad songs la 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 a very handsome prince was passing by 
he stopped and looked here and there to see where this beautiful voice was coming from. La la la. Oh, what a beautiful song. Who is singing so beautifully? The prince noticed the beautiful voice coming from the tower. He wanted to climb the tower and looked for the door, but could not find one. He went back home in dismay. But Rapunzel's singing had touched his heart so much that every day he started going to the forest to listen to Rapunzel's song. One day, he was standing behind the tree when he saw the witch coming. And he heard what she said. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair to me. Then Rapunzel let down her long beautiful hair. And the witch climbed up the tower. Oh, that's the way to climb up to the tower. I shall do the same. The next day, when it began to grow dark, he went to the tower. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let your hair down to me. Immediately the hair fell down and the prince climbed up. Oh! Who are you? Oh Lord! You are the most beautiful maiden that I have ever seen in my life. I have lost my heart to you. Will you marry me? Will you be my wife and live with me in my kingdom? Oh, my prince, I wish that was possible. But the witch won't let me go out of this tower. And if she comes to know about you, she will kill you. I don't care. You are coming with me now. Come on, let's go. Oh, prince, I am ready to go away with you. But I do not know how to get down. If I let down my hair, then how will I get down? You are right. Mm. You have to go now. The witch will come soon. Yes. Don't worry, Rapunzel. I will think of something and come back tomorrow. That moment when the prince was climbing down the tower, the witch saw him. Oh! So he wants to take Rapunzel away. They both will have to pay for this. The witch climbed the tower after asking Rapunzel to let down her hair. You treacherous girl! How could you even think of betraying me? You shall pay for this. The witch took a big pair of scissors and chopped off her long beautiful tresses. Rapunzel was left all alone in the desert by the witch to live in grief and misery. Meanwhile, the prince returned the next evening to take Rapunzel away. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. The wicked witch let down the long braid that she had chopped off from Rapunzel's hair and the prince climbed the tower without knowing what danger was awaiting him. When the prince was about to enter the window, the wicked witch chopped off the braid just to see the prince fall off the tower into the thorny bushes under the tower. The prince started bleeding from his eyes as the thorns blinded him completely. 
The witch cast a spell on the prince. And he wandered in woods around the world without any sight and survived in poor conditions. Meanwhile, the prince roamed about in misery for two years and finally he got to the desert where Rapunzel was left by the witch. La, la, la. He suddenly heard the beautiful sad voice of his beloved and started shouting in excitement. That voice! That voice! Is it you, Rapunzel? Is it really you? He went towards it and when he approached, Rapunzel said, Oh Prince, you finally found me. I missed you so much. I am so happy to see you that I can't stop crying. Two of her tears fell on his eyes and they grew clear again and he could see with them as before. I can see again. Oh my sweet Rapunzel, what have they done to us? Let's go back to my kingdom. He took her to his kingdom. After a year, Rapunzel gave birth to a pretty little baby girl who looked just like her and they lived happily ever after. Get up, Tofu! Or you'll get late for school. Get up, Tofu! <sighs> Dia, you? <laughs> what happened? That... That was... <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, I know. That was me in your dream. Now get up and get ready. Guys, hello. What do you want? Can I play with you guys? This is a game for big kids. Go away. Actually, why don't you stay to hear a story I was about to tell my brother? Okay, thanks. Once upon a time, there lived a king who had 12 beautiful daughters. He loved the princesses dearly. But one thing about them worries him a lot. I cannot understand what my daughters do because of which they need a new pair of shoe every morning. How can it be that their shoes are fine through the day but in the morning they are worn out completely? To find the truth behind his daughter's shoes, the king announced in the kingdom that anyone who uncovered the secret would be awarded handsomely. Many people came. But no one could understand how the princesses managed it. One day, an old soldier decided to go to the palace. As he was walking, he came across an old woman. Where are you going? I am going to the palace. I would love to solve the mystery of the princesses and become a king one day. 
That's not very difficult. Here, take this invisibility cloak and use it when the time is right. Nobody will be able to see you as long as you wear it. Just be wary not to drink the wine that one of the princesses will bring you. The soldier thanked the woman and went on his way to the castle. Once there, he went to meet the king. I can find the truth behind the worn out shoes of the princesses. If you fail, I will have your head cut off. And if I do it, you will allow me to marry one of your daughters. You have courage, young man. Very well. You will sleep in the princess's room tonight. The soldier was introduced to the princesses and given a cozy bed in the princess's room. Just before he was about to sleep, a princess brought him a glass of wine. He only pretended to drink it and lay down on his bed and pretended to sleep. After some time, the eldest princess came up to him and checked if he was asleep. He is fast asleep, sisters. Let's go. All the sisters got together and pulled out prettiest of their clothes and got dressed. All of them were excited except the youngest one. I am not sure about this, sisters. I think something will go wrong tonight. Oh, you simpleton! You worry unnecessarily. Nothing will happen. Now come, let's go. The eldest princess then went to her bed and clapped twice. The bed sunk to the floor and a secret stairway opened underneath. All the princesses followed one after the other. The soldier also quickly got up and put on the cloak. He then followed the princesses onto the stairway. But halfway through, he accidentally stepped on the gown of the youngest princess. I am telling you sisters, something is amiss. Someone has caught hold of my gown. Don't be a fool. It might just be a nail. Now stop crying or you will delay us. All the princesses followed by the invisible soldier made their way to the bottom of the stairs. 
they found themselves in a beautiful grove of fruit laden trees and flowers made of silver. Beyond the grove was a lake where twelve handsome princes awaited the princesses in twelve small boats. The princesses rushed to their beloved each and got into his boat. The soldier sneaked into the boat with the youngest princess. The boat is very heavy today. I don't know what is happening today. Everything is wrong. The princesses and the princes reached the other side of the lake. There was another beautiful grove there. It was lit with a thousand lamps and music wafted throughout. Let's go sisters! Everybody got off the boats and into the grove. Princesses and the princes danced with each other like there was no tomorrow. The soldier hid himself in one corner and watched everything. The princesses danced through the night. And when morning came, they returned to the palace and slept. So this is where the princesses go and this is why their shoes wear out overnight. Let me see what they do tonight. The soldier waited and watched. The same thing happened again. The next morning, the soldier told the king what he'd found out. The king called his daughters. Is it true what the soldier has to say? Yes, father. Well, soldier, looks like you have earned your reward. Which princess will you marry? I am not very young now, so I would like to marry the eldest princess. The soldier and the princess were married on the same day and he became the heir of the king. Arrogance doesn't help people too much, does it dear? No, it doesn't. 
I am sorry. I was mean to you. We'll be back here to play tomorrow. Why don't you come and join us then? It's okay. I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now. Thanks for narrating the story, Tia. Bye-bye. Bye. For your favorite rhymes, stories and more, join Kids Hat family. Subscribe here.